Hey, Earth Signs. Welcome to Earth Spell. I'm Kat. I'm going to do a two-week energy forecast for you. So this is going to be from December 13th through the 26th, okay? So this is from the 13th of December to the 26th of December, 2021. I'm get an overall energy, and at the end, I have me and Ernest here. Say hello, Ernest. Hi. He says, hey, um, we have some channeled message for messages for you guys <laughs> at the end. Okay, if you want to stick around for that. So the the air reading and the fire. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, unfortunately I have both of them in my chart, so you know. Anyway, let's not get discouraged. Let's just don't do it. But um yeah, feel free to check out those signs, okay? If you have them in your chart, okay, or if you're dealing with one. Um, but right now we're going to do the earth, okay? We're going to focus on you, the earth signs. So that's Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. I'm getting overall energy for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn in the next two weeks. Overall energy is denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So, overall energy is denial. So, you could be in denial about something, or someone that you're dealing with could be in denial about something. It could be denying the way it's looking. <laughs> anyway, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not spirit. Okay, but... Denial, but you're going to acknowledge your fear, okay? And you're going to replace it with insight of awareness. So you're going to be made aware of something, and you're going to have insight into a person, place, or thing, okay? Insight and awareness, okay? So maybe you were in denial about something before, but it's going to be, you know, in the next two weeks, it's going to become clear to you, Okay? Something that you've been in denial about. All right. So what do we have, Spirit, for the Earth signs? December 13th through the 26th, 2021. The Earth signs. Okay. Ready to Capricorn. What do we have? The next two weeks. Okay, you could be dealing with someone defensive. Seven of Wands want to come up, or you're going to have to stand up for yourself. Something that you believe in, something that you think is right, okay? So, let's see. I'm going to try not to be so long-winded, okay? Sometimes I just go with it. I'm on the journey with you guys. And I have a bad habit of just digging deep, okay? Overall energy is Libra justice, okay? You could be dealing with a Libra or someone has um, Libra in their chart, okay? This is legalities. You could be dealing with those within the next two weeks, some of you. Some legalities, um, something being made fair, something right. Um, even the law, you could be, you know, dealing with the law. But something here, this is your energy, Capricorn, okay? Or it's the energy of someone um, toxic, okay? It could be someone, you know, it could be another Capricorn. But this is a toxic energy, Okay, could be something, you know, toxic within, you know, something being made fair. Yeah, there's just a toxic energy around you guys the next two weeks. It could be dealing also with some addictions here. 
But this is a very sneaky individual. You see, see, he, she, it doesn't matter. That's a very sneaky individual. Okay, so on Monday the 13th, you have a wish fulfillment or you're overindulging in something, okay? Um, because this doesn't look like a wish. Uh, this looks like sadness to me. So you could be finding out or signs that someone has been indulging in something, a person, place, or thing, okay? Overindulging themselves, all right? Or something that you thought was a wish fulfillment is not. And this is happening on Monday. So tell me about the Nine of Cups and the Earth signs. Judgment. So someone could be wanting a second chance or coming back around. Maybe this is something that you uh, once upon a time had wished for. Um, but, you know, and there's a major arcana again. Excuse the alarm. Major arcana again for Libra. So... Like I said, it doesn't feel like a wish fulfillment here. Um, you know, this could be judgment from the universe as well. So, um, but there is the Nine of Cups here. So, some some judgment being called or someone could be placing judgment on you. Or signs it could be a Libra. Okay, that wanted wish fulfillment with you or thought they were going to have wish fulfillment. All right, and this is on Monday. And, or it's calling you on Monday to make a judgment call when it comes to, um, to a wish fulfillment or to a, a second chance that's going to make someone happy or make you happy, okay? That's on Monday. On Tuesday, there's contracts. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at that wrong. There's, um, you could be breadcrumbing someone or someone could be breadcrumbing you, you know, just giving you enough to keep you around. Because this is Six of Pentacles, and it is normally an equal give and take, but it looks like one is being given more so than the other. It looks like this one here is kind of, you know, longing for attention or wanting attention, and they're not getting it. And then the other one is just getting, you know, crumbs. So, you know, I'm not really sure about this on Tuesday. What is the Six of Pentacles? You know, wanting an equal. Someone, you could be feeling, you know, breadcrumbed or, you know, like you're not, it's like something's not equal and you want things to be equal. What is the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, you want a, a um, transformation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But you want transformation here. You want to end something to start something new. Okay? You want a transformation. Yeah. And you're going to be made clear. You could be dealing with a Leo, but you don't have to be. But enlightened. That, you know, that you could be getting breadcrumbed or you're breadcrumbing someone. Someone could be coming to the enlightenment of that. So, um... Or a Scorpio could be breadcrumbing you. Take it however it applies. But you want transformation on Tuesday. You want an equal give and take on Tuesday. You want something to transform. Okay. On Wednesday, there is some betrayal here. There's some backstabbing. And this is over a period of time. Okay. It's a lot of betrayal, a lot of pain, a lot of backstabbing. Okay, but like spirit, this is the worst it's going to get. This feeling right here, this energy right here of betrayal and people backstabbing you and letting you down is coming to an end on Wednesday. So what is this about for the earth signs? Yeah, the eight of wands. It's going to come in quickly. An ending coming in quickly, fast. A lot of communication about an ending due um, to a love connection here. Twin flame, if you believe in that soulmate connection. Yeah, that you've kept a secret, okay, or there's an illusion around it. It could be Pisces energy or Gemini. But a lot of communication 
in regards to a love situation here that could have been kept a secret. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, it could have been kept a secret because, you know, another energy is involved. Okay. Storyline of the night. Um, and it, it's a karmic situation. I mean, it's just, you know, there's a lesson to be learned here in regards to third parties. Yeah, it's really burdening someone. It's really weighing someone down. And they're really trapped in their thoughts, in their minds, in their minds, in their mind about it, about the options and about what they want to do. But there's a lot of communication on Wednesday about an ending, okay? Now, on Thursday, you have the Wheel of Fortune again. So a cycle here. Um, let's see what this is about. What is this about? What is the Wheel of Fortune about? The King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or you have an inner chart or someone that you're dealing with has an inner chart. But this is someone that has love. They're not good at expressing love. Um, but they do have love for you, earth signs. They do. And they want things to go in their favor. Yeah. You could work with this person. Okay. You could be in partnership with this person. You have a, a soul connection. Like you view this person as a soulmate. Okay. And, and you know, this um, king of cups here, male or female, you know, they want things to go in their favor. Okay. All right. And it could be within finances or work or, you know, stability, whatever the case may be. Let's see. All right. So that was on Thursday. On Friday, you could be feeling rejected or you know, just not interested. You could have lost interest in someone or rejected someone on Thursday or you're going to or someone could be doing this to you. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. Okay, it could be someone that is in and out. Um, only in it for the, the sex, the passion. Um, and you're not interested in it, Earth signs. You're not interested in it. But, you know, this is a type of energy that wants to hit it and quit it. Yeah, and they're undecisive. They can't make up their mind. And you feel neglected by this person. And that is truth. That is truth. That is clarity. And you're going to get truth and clarity out of it. Um, and you're going to demand the truth and clarity from this person. And that is on um, Friday. So, yeah. So, you've come to the understanding that, you know, this person is flighty. They're in and out. They're only in it for a good time, not a long time. And um, you're not interested. You could be turning this person's off, off or down, or turning this individual down. Okay. So on Saturday, you're working really hard. You're really focused. Um, you could be working, but you're really focused on a person, place, or thing. What is this about? Focused on your finances, on your craft. Yeah. Going within, staying isolated. Again, Libra energy, but justice, one in justice. How to make things fair? How do I make things fair? How do I make things just? Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo or someone that has strong Virgo in their chart, okay? And in having patience, Sagittarius energy here, wanting things to balance out. Could be in a work um, situation here. Could be, you know, making things fair in a work situation. Um, but also just keeping to yourself, gaining knowledge, spiritual knowledge, um, being enlightened. You could also, you know, be working and, and teaching spirituality or something spiritual on Saturday. Okay. Or just wanting something to be made fair and, and right. 
follow the divine. Okay. So on Sunday, you have the emperor. So really stand in your ground, being focused, um, you know, having control of, you know, things, control of yourself, your business, if you own your own business, but, you know, being a boss, even being a leader. So that's on Sunday. I've got one on the emperor. Or you're dealing with an Aries or someone that has Aries in their chart. The Nine of Swords. So, yeah, just fighting, pushing forward, taking control, um, standing in your power. Yeah. Standing in your power, you know, guarding yourself, but really not guarding yourself because it's like, you know, she's placed, she's put her sword down and all the other swords are behind her, you know. And she's just resting on the rock. So I just just really feel like, um, yeah, you're just being a, a leader on this day. You're just, you know, taking control of your, your thoughts, your emotions, and, you know, you know, somewhat guarding yourself and protecting yourself, but also just doing it with ease is what I'm getting, Earth signs. Okay. So on Monday, the 20th, you have the sun. Happiest card in the deck, okay? Are you getting clarity or are you dealing with the Leo? So what is the sun about? The Empress and the Six of Cups. So feeling um, nostalgia, all right? You could be dealing with someone from the past or it could just be a soulmate energy, someone that you view as beautiful, Taurus, Libra energy. Beautiful, everything that you want. Um, you know, a new beginning in love. They, um, yeah, just nostalgia, good memories, okay? This is just feeling happy on Monday, Earth Signs. Feeling really happy, thinking about the past. You know, you could even be dealing with um, a mother or your, a mother figure on um, Monday, or a wife, or a, a feminine energy, okay? on Monday that makes you happy. Someone from the past, thoughts of the past here. Yeah, and you could want an equal give and take with this person, okay? Excuse me. All right, so on Tuesday, you have someone coming in. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you have it in your chart. This could be you. Coming in very abruptly on someone, very impulsive. Um, someone could be angry here. Um, they could be speaking out of anger, but what they, they are speaking is truth, but it, it, it could come out of nowhere and it can be um, harsh, okay? So what is this on Tuesday for the earth signs? What is this? This is someone speaking truth about a home situation, a soulmate connection or twin flame connection, okay, even could be a, a marriage or, a, you know, a celebration of sorts, but yeah, something that our signs, you're going to feel like you need to defend or someone is defending someone here in regards to a home, a love connection, a soulmate connection, yeah, defending their, their wish fulfillment here, defending their, their ten of cups, definitely, a wish it can be dealt with an Aquarius, but you don't have to be. But yeah, definitely on Tuesday, someone coming in expressing, you know, that you're their soulmate, you know, twin flame, if you believe in that, you know, some something in regards to a home. It is truth. Um, someone here is going to be on guard, they are. Um, they are going to defend themselves, especially when it comes to their family, their home, um, their children, okay? There's been a lot of healing, okay? They are someone here is um, following the divine, especially when it comes to passion, or you are, earth signs, okay? But um, someone here is going to come in, or this could be you, um, 
very harsh or very abrupt and uh, speak your truth when it comes to a home situation or a love connection. Mm -hmm. Could be about, yeah, this could be you, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? Or you could be dealing with another earth sign. But anyway, let's move to Wednesday. Okay, you have someone in your environment, or this is you, um, that is a sneak. They are a liar. They are a thief. They uh, are trying to get away with something, okay? They're not telling you the truth. They're manipulative. All right, it could be in regards to a passionate new beginning or in regards to a sexual encounter. Again, I don't even want to say it. Third party situation that someone can't make up their mind about. Okay, so we're just going to leave it at that. So someone here is a sneak. They are a liar. They're not telling the truth. Okay, in regards to um, a third party situation or some kind of intrusion when it comes to a relationship here, person, place, or thing. Yeah. So earth signs you want an equal give and take okay but then you've got someone in the energy that wants to win at all costs they want it their way and you know they want to win at all costs it's a battle okay they are very manipulative they're sneaky all right so what is this five of swords on wednesday so wednesday just be careful someone in your energy is going to be lying to you they're not going to be speaking the truth. They're going to try to, they could possibly even try to steal from you. You know, whatever the case may be. But they, this is sneaky energy. This is someone that wants to win at all costs. They're going to tell you anything that you want to hear. Okay, I just heard that. So, yeah. Defend yourself. Okay, or they are going to be very defensive. So, if you were to bring this up to this individual, they are going to be very defensive. This is someone that stays in their head a lot, or they feel as though they are trapped. They're, you know, mentally trapped in their head a lot. Okay, this is strong air. All right. Yeah, and they carry a lot of burdens. In regards to a reconciliation or a secret or a high priestess here. Um, yeah. About a reconciliation, they are very... Uh, overwhelmed they're very burdened when it comes to a reconciliation they are keeping quiet okay they're not speaking they're keeping it to themselves but i do feel like there is communication coming in about possibly putting in time and effort okay and manifesting being enlightened okay when it comes to an aries that they make them you know, could make them happier. They could have gained some clarity here. But this is someone that is very manipulative and they want to win at all costs. And this is Wednesday. This could be your energy, earth signs, or someone else. Yeah. Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. Or they're overindulging. Okay. And I believe it could be um, sexual. I assume. All right. So on Thursday, you could be feeling left out. You know, you can have a lack mindset on Thursday, like you don't have enough, you don't have enough money, um, you're not getting enough attention, you know, you feel left out in the cold, okay, and this is Thursday, why is this here, why is this here, yeah, because of an ending, because of some betrayal, some backstabbing, betrayal, someone stabbing you in the back. Yeah, and, you know, someone watching you, but also giving you, um, you know, this is just um, quick communication here. It's truth. It is truth, and it is about, you know, it's truth. And you definitely could be dealing with an air sign. Yeah. It could be watching in regards to a contract or working with this individual. Um, you know, it could have, you know, took a long time. You know, to get to their um, two of cups here, uh, a soulmate connection and, and gaining clarity on a commitment, okay, and a new beginning, you know, financially. But someone here is going to be, they're going to be left feeling, you know, 
betrayed and hurt. So on Thursday, you could be feeling, um, you know, left out, um, a lack due to something ending. There definitely is endings here. Okay. There's definitely two tens or something coming to an end within the next two weeks. Okay. So on Friday, you have the moon. Could be done with a Pisces. You don't have to be. Yeah, this is major arcanas here. So definitely the universe has its hand in this. They do. So what is the moon here? Secrets, illusions, fears, the unknown. Yeah. Some of you on Friday could be, um, you know, have some fears due to the unknown. All right. Due to a secret. Um, someone could be wanting, could uh, be wanting to hold on to you, could be wanting to hold on to someone. But this is a secret. Um, what is the unknown? What is the unknown? For the earth signs on Friday. What is the unknown? Yeah, a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be, you know, a message that you receive from a fire sign. I don't know why I said younger fire sign, but this is the Queen of Wands. So this is someone very passionate, um, you know, very creative, very very um you know sexy they're go-getters you know um they are they're just you know fire that fire energy and it's just the energy it could be male or female but you know it doesn't go unrecognized it really doesn't so this is um a secret here that you know could be coming to the light in regards to someone walking away or leaving, okay, to, to go towards their happiness. Yeah. And then, okay, <clears throat> it could be a younger fire sign um, that you get a message from or that gets the message. Yeah, from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio about, you know, wanting to be single, okay, or about, you know, this love offer that is being made. Um, there's definitely someone holding on here. Tell me more about the Queen of Wands. So either you're in the energy of the Queen of Wands on Friday or you're dealing, someone around you is dealing with the Queen of Wands, this energy. Um, but I feel as though you don't know or this Queen of Wands don't know about a Pisces or, you know, something that is a secret or an illusion here. So what is this about on Friday? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Could be the fact that there's two, two energies here. You have one that's very fiery. This could be one person, but... Someone that's very fiery, someone that's very loving, intuitive, even psychic, um, caring, okay? And then you've got this knight coming to the queens, okay? This is just a knight. It's not even a king, um, you know, wanting the two of cups and having clarity, truth in regards to a commitment and a new beginning in finances. It's going to leave someone, you know, in the Five of Cups energy, sad and burdened that something here is going to come to a close. Yeah. It could definitely could be a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that's making a decision here to, you know, walk away. Tell me more about these queens. Tell me more about these queens. Yeah, look, you can't make it up. You have um, you have a couple here. You have the King of Wands, and then you have the Queen of Wands. Okay, a very sexy power couple here. 
They're very sexy, creative. They're go-getters, okay? People want them. They get a lot of attention. You have the Queen of Cups here, very psychic and intuitive. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And then you have the Two of Wands. So there, there is a decision here between two Earth signs, okay? Something, you know, is going to come to a close. Something is going to come full circle. Um, yeah, options. I'm here and pick wisely, pick wisely. Yeah. So there could have been some healing or something of that nature or, or wishing upon stars about a wish fulfillment here and wanting to defend a family situation that is a wish fulfillment for someone. It is, okay? But um, someone's going to be le is going to be left feeling left out. Okay. Yeah, threes are crowd. That's what I'm hearing from spirit. Threes are crowd. All right. So someone here is going to make a decision. I feel like um, a fire sign could be making a decision. You have two couples here. You have the king and queen of cups, and you have the king and queen of wands. It's too many people. Okay. What is this? What do you call? I mean, whatever floats your boat, but this is sneak and lies. So someone here is in the dark, and this right here is a secret too. And we did see the high priestess, okay? So someone here is in the dark about what's going on. They are. So on Saturday, you have the magician. So this is Gemini energy. What is this? Using all the tools that you need to achieve, to manifest what it is that you want. So earth signs, what are you manifesting on Saturday? What are you manifesting on Saturday, earth signs? What are you manifesting? Again, magician. Wow, strong manifestation here. Using everything you've got. Being connected to the divine, strong Gemini energy. Definitely could be dealing with the Gemini Wanting to come in abruptly and speak your truth about a partnership that you have gained enlightenment on. Okay, and this person could be a Pisces or they have water in their chart. It could be in regards to a new love connection or a new start when it comes to emotions here. But you're manifesting. Anyone on a magician, please? Strong manifestation. So on Saturday, if you want something, manifest it. Earth signs, yeah. Communication from a fire sign. You could be manifesting that, a younger fire sign, or you're going to get communication um, Saturday when it comes to um, a younger fire sign that you're, you're willing to put the work in. Yeah, strong Aries and Leo energy that they make you happy, okay? Um, and they could have gotten clarity in a situation of competition or there could be an, a lot of conflicts within this dynamic, this relationship um, in regards to a love offer, okay? And it could have been an impulsive love offer. It could have been something that just happened quickly, Okay, um, you did earth signs or, or this um, Aries. Yes, they could have done something. They could have just followed by faith. I mean, it looks like she's just like, I'm just going to step off. I have no worries. It doesn't look like she's scared. There's nobody trying to stop her. She's surrounded by butterflies, which is transformation for me. Um. Yeah, but there's going to be clarity in regards to a commitment here. So communication to or from a fire sign on Saturday, okay? But it doesn't have to be a fire sign, but, you know, but it's, it's good communication. It's, you know, it could be flirty. Um, you know, this person can have a lot going on. You know, this person could be in the limelight. They could be... Um, 
you know, even, you know, famous or whatever. They just follow by faith. Yeah, and, you know, they're a wish fulfillment. They are. And they, you are going to feel, you know, be in the energy of defending yourself and what's going to make you happy. And I think you just want someone to make up their mind in regards to a new passionate beginning. Okay. All right, yeah, a new passionate beginning. And on Sunday, what do we have? A new passionate beginning. So what does this mean, Earth Signs? So on Sunday, you could um, have a new beginning of something that you're really passionate about, a person, place, or thing that you're passionate about, um, something that brings you a lot of excitement. Or this could just be a very intimate day for you or Someone is very sexually attracted to you, or you are sexually attracted to someone, okay? Could be get together and share some intimacy here. So let's see, let's clarify. What is this ace of wands for the earth signs? Ace of wands for the earth signs. Let's flip out here. The eight of cups. So someone here wants a, a passionate new beginning while someone um, wants their happiness. They could be emotionally separating themselves from you or just walking away from this passionate new beginning. Um, it could be a Sagittarius or someone that has Sagittarius in their chart. But, um, or you could be getting, you know, an apology or a love offer from a Sagittarius. Someone that wants to take a leap of faith. Um, what is this Eight of Cups? This is someone withdrawing their energy because they want to be happy. Someone walking away from a situation. Yeah, they could just be holding it in right now um, or walking away from making a decision or, um, you know, or earth signs, you could be, you know, walking away from someone that's in indecision. They can't make up their mind, especially when it comes to work, finances, your home life, your stability, um, because it just, it leaves you burdened and overwhelmed. It's too much. Um, you would like to reconcile with this person and have a new beginning and emotions, okay? But I feel like this is kept a secret, okay? There is a fear in regards to this, okay, you could be dealing with a cancer where you don't have to be, but this is the cherry. You could, you know, um, it, you know, with the moon and, and the cherry, it could be that, you know, you could want to travel to this person or this person wants to travel to you, all right, for an equal give and take when it comes to passion, but I feel like someone's walking away. What is the two of swords? Or maybe, you know, someone here, or you, you know, you're not seeing that energetically someone is, is walking away from the situation or walking away from a passionate new beginning. Yeah, because they, they want to be single, or you do. Mm -hmm. And it definitely could, this could definitely be a work situation. Are walking to something that's making them um, walking towards some this could be you walking towards something that you're very passionate about that is a wish fulfillment um, and having to make a decision mm -hmm. it definitely could involve work and family here and one more on the eight of Pentacles so on Saturday, you're going to get, you've manifested, and it could be in career or a job, you've manifested um, a new passionate beginning, okay, you've manifested communication, yeah, someone wants to take a leap of faith with you, um, or you want to take a leap of faith, and it could be with an Aries here, you're going to send, um, it could be an apology, or a message of love, or a Something like that, wanting to work on a connection because you view this person as single, independent, and stable. 
okay yeah um but or you feel that this person is emotionally detaching themselves from you or science or you or they feel that you are emotionally um detaching yourself from them from a, a new beginning and, and passion or you know in love if this is a relationship or this is you you know walking away from something that makes you passionate about but I don't see that I see like I see that there's a leap of faith here I see that there's something that you have manifested um but someone here is in the energy of just walking towards what's going to make them happy yeah they've gained enlightenment they've you know they view something differently okay this could be you you view something differently or someone differently um or they do you okay so that's what i have for you earth signs you have love you have some twists and turns here. You do have some secrets and you have some sneaky behavior, but you have strong manifestation skills. Um, things are going to be made fair and just. They are, um, you know, there is some endings here, but with all endings, there is new beginnings, okay? And definitely the universe has its hand in this. There is a transformation taking place. There is growth here. Even if you can't see it within these two weeks, there is going to be growth and lessons learned, um, new beginnings and endings. Because, you know, I definitely, we've seen it, new beginnings and endings. And I do believe it has something to do with work. Um, it could be a work um, relationship romance, or um, it's just something, a relationship that you've worked really hard at. Um, or something that you've worked really hard out. Take it however, however, however. So our signs, me and Ernest did some, um, did some meditation and some channeling. And so for Taurus, this is what we got. So, um, within the next two weeks, you could, um, be hearing Taurus a lot of gossip, Okay. So keep things to yourself, okay, because um, gossip is all around you. People gossiping is all around you. Um, in the next two weeks, you can be um, having some feelings of regret here. Um, show your children some more love, some more attention, affection. You could um, have some children, you know, showing out, and it's because they just want more attention or, you know, they want more more love, more, more attention. Um, also, watch your money, watch your spending, okay, especially at this time. And um, it's time to put more energy into your calling. So um, if you, you know, if you know what your calling is and you've been lacking on that, Spirit is saying it's time to put more energy into it. And again, about your, your children, this could be older children or younger, but I'm kind of getting the energy of older children may feel a lack, um, a lack of love or money or, you know, this could be going on in, if they have a house, a home of their own, children of their own, things like that. Um, you know, they could be in a lack mentality within the next two weeks. So just check on your children. Okay, is what I got, Taurus. So Virgo, for you, we got, say hey, we got um, feelings of anger towards another. So you could be really angry towards someone within the next two weeks, okay? Thinking too much and trapped in your thoughts, okay? Trapped in your head, your mind too, too much. And also, one of the other signs got this as well, but um, he or she male or female, feminine or masculine, has cheated on you with an ex many times, and you will never get the truth. You only get half-truths. Half I think uh, Sagittarius got this. Uh, you only get half-truths, um, but you'll never get the full truth, okay? Also got check on your children, okay? Call them, text them, etc. If they don't live with you, just check on them, all right? 
Um, I also got that, you know, a lack of love was felt as a child. And so maybe, um, you know, some healing on that would benefit you. Okay. Um, also cleanse your home with sage or smudging spray or um, just um, I'm hearing clearing and cleansing of the home. Okay. Yeah, because there's dark energies around you and your home. Um, so, yeah, sage, open up the windows, the doors, um, you know, sage, or you can Google how to, um, to sage your home, but um, that is necessary, especially within the next two weeks, but, you know, um, as soon as possible, um, cleanse your home, because there are dark energies, entity energies around you um, and your home, okay? So Capricorn, all right, for the next two weeks, we chanteled, Ernest and I, we did. We got, um, they're only in it for the sex, okay? They only want sex from you. You need to cleanse your home as well, sage, smudge spray, uh, spray. Um, you know, open the doors, windows, and um, get the negative energy out of your home. Okay, so cleanse your home. Okay, someone um, within your relationship, it can be any relationship, but they um, could be, a, you know, a partnership in work or a love relationship, just anyway, a relationship. Someone um, is withholding money, okay? So they're keeping money from you, Capricorn. All right, someone is also grieving you. All right, so someone is grieving you, they are missing you. Also, I got that someone in your environment or someone that you are close to is not your true friend. Okay, they're not they're not truthful to you. Um, they're just not true. They're not a true friend. Um, I also got that um, they will not leave you anything or with anything. Okay. So this could be, you know, within like a partnership or relationship, um, you know, they will take it all. So be careful with that. And um, also I got that someone here is very smothering. Okay. They're very smothering. Um, so yeah, you might want to address that. Or watch out for, for that. And that could just be for the next two weeks. Okay, someone could be kind of clingy on you there, Capricorn. All right, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've made it this far, thank you so much. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, me and Ernest say Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. And until then, love yourself and each other. Bye.